All right? No, I'm not. Oh. I mean, why thump Louise? I lost it, didn't I? She's your boss. And now look at you, you got no job. You've no roof over your head. I am aware of the situation, Lisa. Well, I won't see you go home, that's your family. But you've got to pay your way. There's no free load in mind. So Betty says keep the thermostat on low, but it's on a timer anyway. Something about burst pipes. Well, it's her money. And she told me to tell you, if there's a heat wave, can you turn it off? Now, I hope you've written all this down. Oh, yeah, it's all here in, in a notepad. <laughs> so how is Betty? Oh, well, she's on great form. I spoke to her yesterday. Take it you told her about Len and Pearl? Yeah. She said, uh, keep your chin up. It's got nothing to do with me what Len Reynolds gets up to. If he wants to get engaged at his time of life, that's his business. So what about you? I mean, are you all packed? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be missed, you know. Not least of all by a certain vicar. H having said that, you're doing the right thing. Onwards and upwards, eh? Thanks for the lift, Alan. My pleasure. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Why is she being so childish? I have a good mind to go in there and sort it out with her. You'll only make things worse. Just wish me luck, eh? Stop worrying. I'll see you after work. You're going to miss him not being at home, you know? Yeah, well, it'll make a change not having the TV on for 18 hours a day. She loves me, really. Are you coming to what? I've been sitting out there for ages. All right, keep your hair on. Look, if he wants a lift, he's got to get a move on. I've got to be in work early today. Karaoke. Oh, we can definitely give that a miss. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Haven't you seen my sex bomb? Once, mate. Oh, very funny, What's yeah. wrong with his sex bomb? Well, he's hardly Tom Jones, is he? Well, neither's Tom Jones these days. Come on, Terry! Kay! See you. <laughs> Don't work too hard. As if. <laughs> Gabby, what am I going to put? Hmm? Bon voyage seems so impersonal. How's about much love you'll be missed? Sounds like something you put on a wreath. What are you doing? I'm trying very hard to think of something to put on Laurel's leaving card. Well, what do you want to say? If I knew that, I'd write it. Hope you find what you're looking for. I would do it. I don't think so, but thanks anyway. I'll get it. Hi, yeah, just want to keep Ashley with you. Flowers. Thanks. Hi, yeah. Uh, well, I just wanted to come and say goodbye. I'll leave you to it. So, uh, all packed? Yeah, all packed. Raring to go. <laughs> Helsinki, you better watch out. Yeah, they won't know what's hit them. <laughs> well, hopefully, anyway. Nervous? Yeah. It's a long way, isn't it? Um, anyway, uh, there is another reason I'm here. Really? Yeah, well, I've got a present for Gab Gabby, if I can find oh, it. Oh, you shouldn't have, should she, Gabby? I wanted to. There it is. That's very kind of you. Look, why, why don't I put the kettle on? Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, it doesn't look too bad now you've covered it with makeup. Oh, it still hurts, though. Here it was quite a thump. Mm. What a gal, eh? <laughs> Bang out of order, though. Thanks a lot, Bob. I take it she's still sacked, then? Yeah, too right she's still sacked. Where have you got a problem with that? Only asking. Okay. Hi, sweetheart. How's my favourite grandson? He's bored. I'm gonna go into Leeds and take him shopping. Oh, shopping, eh? Who's a lucky guy, then? Can I get you anything? Oh, you couldn't get some socks, could you? Black, only for cotton. Oh, I'm clean out of hair gel as well. Not the cheap stuff, definitely not wet look. Oh, and you couldn't get us Ozzy Osbourne's greatest hits. Ozzy Osbourne? Yeah, it's double album. Anyway, how's Terry? He's great, yeah. Yeah? Coping with work? Terry's fine, Dad. Yeah, of course he is, yeah. 
Oh, come on, come on. Uh, Terry, you wouldn't happen to know where the insurance files are, would you? Um, I thought they're in the yard, but they're not. Oh, uh, filing cabinet, top drawer. Ah. Oh, damn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, just a bit of cramp, you know. Tell you what, why don't you let me do that and you can make us a nice cup of tea? Oh, no, no, I, I can manage. Yes, I didn't say you couldn't. I've just got like a cup of tea. Oh, right. Ooh, look at this, Gabby, look. Oh, you really shouldn't have, you know. Yes, I should. I want her to remember me. I can't believe you're going. I suppose I've got used to having you around. Mm. Actually, I've got something for you. Oh. <laughs> Nothing nearly as nice as this, I'm afraid. Oh. In fact, it's quite embarrassing. Oh, don't be like that. It's a thought that counts. Well, I did go into Hotton for it. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Um, oh. it, it isn't wrapped. That's all right. What is it, Gabby? What is it? Oh, <laughs> finish in ten easy steps. Well, that'd be handy. <laughs> As opposed to Flemish. <laughs> Kitos. Olly Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> A pleasure. Bye. That was Mr. Tashivon. Oh, I hope he's not cancelled his order. Oh, no, no, on the contrary. He wants to increase it quite considerably. <laughs> That's good. Oh, things are looking up. <laughs> However, it does mean a trip to uh, Japan. Oh, look at you. When you go in, then? Well, that depends entirely on you, Lisa, whether or not you can cope while I'm away. Oi! Shouldn't you be asking me that? After all, I am owner of this factory. 49%, Stephanie. You put her in charge, you'll have a walk out on your hands. I am in charge. And is that a threat, Lisa? You wind folk up, Steph. I get things done, Lisa. You know now about the running of this factory? I worked on that shop floor, you know. Yeah, and you were rubbish. Eric, this might be a good time to say something. Yes, well, the trip isn't definite. In fact, thinking about it, I can sort out the contract over the phone. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. I'm gonna miss her. Promise you'll write. Well, I might even phone if it's not too expensive. Oh, don't worry about that. Just reverse the charges. Right, uh, best be off then. Of course. Are you gonna go tonight? Tonight? The karaoke. I'll be there. Oh, it's a date then. <laughs> what time's your flight? Um, 10.30, but I'm going to get there for 7.30, because I like to be early. Well, me too. I hate being late. Well, that's one thing we've got in common. <laughs> uh, I'll see you later. Most definitely. I look forward to it. Laurel. Uh, I just wanted to say... Um, I'll get that. Shall I? Oh, Laurel. Come in, come in. Um, I've just come for the, uh, you know. Oh, I see. Right then, uh, I'd best be off. Ciao. Have you got it, then? Got what? The card. Only I'm in a bit of a rush. Oh, right, yes, I'll get it. Oh, I just think this time tomorrow she'll be in Helsinki. Oh, I wish I'd travelled more. I haven't actually signed it. Oh, what do you like? Well, go on, scribble something. It's hard to know what to put. Well, um, I hope you find what you're looking for might be appropriate. Well, she's obviously looking for something. Precisely. I, I, I don't want to rush you, but... Uh... All right, all right, all right. There we are, one card duly signed. Thank you, and uh, I'll see you tonight. Bye. Oh, and uh, you owe me for the Prezi. Five pounds. Fine. That wasn't too hard, was it? Got a 
very nature. Hi. Don't look at me like that. How you feeling? Rubbish. How's she doing, Mrs Tippy tells me? Well, she's not the happiest I've seen her. Looks like you gave her quite a whack. <sighs> Why don't you just tell her sorry? Well, I'd leave it a few days if I were you. Let the dust settle, as they say. What about my job, though? I'm a good barmaid. She's got quite a bruise. I'm going to have to grovel, aren't I? You couldn't pave the way for me, could you, Bob? How do you mean? Well, sing me praises a bit. Say that you bumped into me and that I'm really sorry for what I did. Oh, go on. I'll do the same for you. All right, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, moustache, karaoke tonight. Oh, that reminds me. Jewelry. <laughs> Just be nice to her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Lisa. I could just see you up there. You know, I strut, strut, strut in your stir. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Putting him off the beam all uh, uh, No one dares at karaoke or over. See you tomorrow, then. Uh, mind you, I want to hear everything about it. Oh, I'll give you the full lowdown, don't you worry. <laughs> Night, Lisa. See you, love. Fancy going for a drink tonight? None of it means talking shop all night, no. And however, uh, <laughs> don't let that stop you. In fact, it uh, might be rather pleasant spending one night on my own. Actually, Eric, I would really appreciate your company. I promise I'll be on good form. Why not? Well, she's a good barmaid. She hit me, Bob. Yeah, I know she did, yeah. But, oh, come on. I mean, the punters love her. Well, of course they love her. She serves them beer. That's what being a barmaid's all about. She's hardly irreplaceable. So she's definitely sacked, then? Yes, she's definitely sacked. Why are you sticking up for her? I just bumped into her today, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Didn't give you the sob story, did she? Yeah, she's really sorry, you know. Sorry she lost her job more like You men are such suckers. Look, Bob. Yeah. She's sacked. Conversation over? I actually don't want that, but here she comes. I'll leave you to it. I really can't make head and tail of this. Terry? Terry. Job. Then you shouldn't have hit her. Well, how come I always manage to muck everything up? Hey, you're talking to a past master here, and I'm still standing. It's not like I hate her or anything. No, but you don't get on, do you? No, oh, she's just not my type. And she knows it. It's hard for her. I've said I'm sorry, and she shouldn't have said that stuff to Gordon. I know I'm not the best mother in the world, but who is, eh? Well, not me anyway. If only she'd loosen up a bit. Yeah, if only I'd met a millionaire when I was 21. Life's not like that. So you're not going to put a word in for me, then? No, I'm not. She had every right to sack you. For coming here for a quiet drink, not to witness a boxing match. You're a liability, sweetheart. Come on. I'll buy you a drink. You're going to have to curb that temper of yours. She looks happy, doesn't she? Yeah. Well, she's got an adventure ahead of her, hasn't she? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
we bought you a present. Who's got it? Oh, give me a chance. Ah, it's the Ashley's message. I hope you find what you're looking for. Regards, Ashley. Yeah, well, maybe he does hope that I find what I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, or maybe he just didn't know what else to write. Here's your present. It's a writing set. Oh! Oh, trust you to spoil it. A leather writing set at that. It's got everything. Because we all want to get lots of letters. I saw any of this one, mate. He walks across the bottom of the bed, naked. I'm looking at him. Just think that's it. It's over. Oh! Why? What's wrong with him? The spark had gone, Bob. Just like that. Time to move on. You're bad. Since when? I didn't have to explain myself to you. I want you out of here. Well, so far, I haven't finished my drink yet. What's going on? Apparently, I'm bad. Louise, could I have a word? Oh, dear. Cal. Louise, you're taking this too far. She hit me, Diane. Yes. But she is sorry. Look, she's sacked. I'm with you on that. But she is not barred. Oh, Alan, what can I get you? It's freezing out there. You never guess what happened. I went into the office and I found Terry slumped across the desk. What have you called an ambulance? An ambulance? Scott, he was asleep. Huh? I'm going to have to say something. Maybe I can turn you on. Maybe I can turn you on. Maybe I can turn you on. Baby, I'm your sex bomb. Dear me. It is, it's quite. I'm no expert on men, Alan, but if he's a sex bomb, I'm Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> yeah, and I'm George Clooney. <laughs> so, this is it then. Well, in um, half an hour it is. You look pretty tonight. Why? Very. Oh. Oh, it's probably the night. Maybe it's because you're happy. Oh, I don't know about that. We've even chosen your song. Oh, Come oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't even remember falling asleep. <laughs> Must be getting really old. Well, maybe you shouldn't be back at work. I take it you're still having physio. Oh, well, a couple of times a week, yeah. So everything's not quite back to normal yet, is it? What are you saying, Zoe? Terry, it's my fault. I mean, I, I should have realised the moment you broached the subject about coming back to work that it's, it's all going to be too much for you. So why don't you just say it, then? I'm sacked. Terry, you're not sacked. There will always be a job for you here, you know that, but just when you're better. Fine. I'll get me coat. We'll, we'll, we'll sort out about the sick pay. Oh, no, thanks. I don't accept charity. Terry, do you want to lift home? No. I think I can manage to phone a taxi. Half an hour, guys. Yeah, it's early. Hey, now come on, give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bye. Bye. Take care. Oh. 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 Yeah, and you take care, yeah, and phone me. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Hope everything works out for you, love. No, oh, thanks, Edna. Get a move on, The taxi's late. Look oh. after yourself, oh. Pet. I'll be thinking of you. Oh. Have a great time. Bye. 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 Put it down, Bob. Oh. So soon. <laughs> I thought you weren't going to say goodbye. Oh, I wouldn't do that. No, 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 is waiting. I feel quite unprepared for this. Oh, so do I. 
I'll never forget you, Ashley. Oh, I've got to go, my carriage awaits. Laurel! Oh, Don't forget to write. Right then, let's go away, we're off. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I'd rather you didn't. Oh, don't be dark. No, no, it's just I'm a bit superstitious and, well, I'd just rather say goodbye here. How are you? Well, um, I'm a bit nervous, actually. Scared stiff. Then don't go. Don't go. Stay here. Why would I want to do that? I don't know. Ashley, my plane goes at 10.30. Can I have a hug? Yeah, of course you can. You take care. Yeah. Now, don't wave. Why not? Because I'm just, I'm superstitious. Bye, Ashley. Diane? Diane, film me a taxi. What do you mean, phone you a taxi? I have to go to the airport. What do you mean you've got to go Just to the airport? Just phone me a cab, Diane. All right, all right, I'll phone you a cab. What's the matter? I've got to go to the airport. That's all. I can't let her go.